specifically with my course, if when I was looking at other universities, you got you didn't really get any ones that were specific to building surveying and the course is actually, because it's RICS accredited, um, it's obviously recognised. Um, well, you obviously get different modules. You get modules which are you do along with other like quantity surveying, architectural technology and then they're more general modules that you could, once you graduate you could get a job and you would, at least you, would, you didn't, wouldn't have to go straight into building surveying because you would have a background on other things like management, procurement, uh, value and cost, which is more quantity surveying thing, but at least you've got a background on that. Obviously, them being very involved in RICS, there's um, social events that you try and get you to go to. It's not, they're not like professional, it's not like you don't need to, you don't need to be clued up on your surveying course yet, but you can go, there's Kayleys, there's like, there's quizzes, um, and everybody just mingles, and the professionals there are always really willing to come and talk to you as well, so, yeah. Since second year, I was a member of the Snow Sports, Snow Sports Club. In that, you meet so many people as well. You probably there's so many people in like these clubs that there's a lot of people that are probably in your course as well. If not younger, they're probably in the years above, and they can always help you. Out. They're always willing to help you out as well. So, like I feel, I feel, the university's got like excellent ties with industry, like be that both oil and gas and construction, and you know it really helps you when you're when you're going through the four years uh, to have those connections because. All the lecturers they've got, you know, extensive experience in the industry. So initially, you're getting a, a really good sort of education when you're when you're taking the, the sort of um, the theory based, and they can link it to what they've done in practice. You know, even for telling you stories and telling them about their experience. You know, linking that together is really beneficial when you're trying to learn. Um, uh, the university also puts in a lot of site visits because of its good connections. So you know, you're not always learning in the classroom. You know, you can you get a great experience learning like out with the classroom, you know, going on sites, seeing what's actually happening. That's really, really beneficial for your building technology, actually understanding how buildings are put together. Aberdeen with the two universities and the college as well, you know, there's a lot of students in Aberdeen in quite a small area, so it's a really sort of student oriented like city, so it's, there's a lot to do, there's a great social sort of aspect to Aberdeen if you, if you want to do that, so yeah, that's, I recommend Aberdeen to anyone, yeah. <laughs> The course is, say, effectively uh, looking at producing chartered surveyors um, in one of two disciplines, which is building surveying or quantity surveying. We don't actually ask you to um, to come to us, you know, with the intention of being either a building surveyor or a quantity surveyor. We have a common first year uh, when you are sort of uh, taught sort of underpinning um, construction-based modules, uh, but you are also sort of taught sort of um, modules which would have a sort of building surveying sort of flair to it uh, or a quantity surveying flair and what you what we ask you to do is to sort of assess you know where your um, uh, interests and, and the sort of things that you like doing lie um, and at the end of the first year you know then you, you can make a choice to either sort of study specialist to become a sort of building surveyor or study to become a quantity surveyor. I think that students often do come with, with, with a sign idea. Often a lot of students will come because they have sort of parents or sort of you know close relations who are actually in the surveying industry so they know just how lucrative it can be. Um, locally we have a number of students who will come to us with a specific view from day one of, of entering the, the oil and gas industry because again it's an extremely lucrative um, industry. As, as graduates go out looking for jobs, so, you know, chances are that they're going to be interviewed you know, by previous R RGU graduates uh, you know, in, 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 in local industry um, in the oil and gas because we know a lot of the RGU graduates you know, are sort of local in, in, you know, in sort of the oil industry and also sort of uh, in construction and also in the, you know, the local surveying practices. You know, so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's that sort of thing. You know, it's, it's, it's perhaps easier, I think, um, you know, to, to get a, uh, employment in these areas, you know, if, if you do study locally. Um, and one of the things that the university is very, very sort of hot on um, is its employability um, rates. I mean, it, it's number one university for employment, guards that very jealously, and surveying uh, is one of the courses within the university which, which do um, provide um, very, very high sort of graduate employment rates.